we're back to get this done. And I still think, no spoilers, but I think she's gonna find out soon about the knife. Something's gonna tear them apart. Something, something like that. I'm just, you know, I'm not good with theories. Because they usually turn out to be wrong. I need my jacket. Got my jacket. A blanket. You hear them? My other Hello. blanket. I'm cold. Okay. Remember, Dylan? I'm the cold-natured one living in a family of warm people. Yeah. Warm bodies. You're not the only one. That's cold yes, but I'm always the coldest one. Especially this is in my room is the coldest one in the house. All right. Let us get it finished. Uh, starting. We're starting at two twenty-two, twenty-four. He's starting a couch tuner. Using I could actually a little bed one. What do you mean? <sighs> I'm his voice up. The coldest one in the house. He has the fan, the cowboy's has the fan on. No, Brian even says this is always the coldest room in the house. It's either the coldest or the warmest, depending on the season. All right, we're starting now, 22-24. This is it. This is where she's hiding? Indeed. But she's not at home. I don't sense her magic. Good. You stay here as look out. I'm going in. About, you're not going in there alone. I won't be long. I just need to find something. What could you possibly want from the Snow Queen's cave? A hat. One that can strip a magical being of their power. Emma! He has it. Sounds like a remarkable object. Almost too good to be true, which means it probably is. It isn't. And I know she has it, and I need to get it from her. It's the only way to force her to tell us where Arnie is. So this is about Elsa's sister. Why are you so invested in a girl you're never even met? Because a hero always helps strangers. Now keep watch. I'll call out to you if I need your help. Why is she not? Why? Why is she not saying that she knows? Grandpappy. Grandpappy. What are you going to marry our crystal? Oh, Anna, my dear, you're back. Have you come to tell us the new wedding date? I have been working on my speech. Not yet, but we can get into that later. First, I want you to meet my friend, Belle. She's come a long way to see you. It's an honor to meet you. I'm, uh... I'm here because I, I... I know. I can help you get the memories of your mother. There's no fun there. Take this to the place where you lost your memory. Then brew a tea with the stone in the kettle. When you drink it, your memories will return. Thank you, Anna. I, I owe you as well. I'm not going to repay you. You don't have to. Having a friend must pay me enough. All I need is a moment alone with Pavi. I'll be quick. What can I help you with, dear? Some woman claims to be my aunt. I just don't believe her. Mother would have told us if she had a sister. Actually, she had two sisters. So what? Wait, what? Mother had two sisters that she never spoke about. Why didn't she say anything? Why didn't you say anything? Because I was sworn to secrecy. Grandpappy, I need some answers. Please. Ah. Your mother Gerda was the youngest of three. And then there was That's Helga, right. and Ingrid was the oldest. As children, yeah. the three that girls were Austin quite well. close, often seen playing together in the royal gardens. But then one day, Helga and Ingrid vanished. No one ever knew what happened to them. It was a tragedy the royal family wanted to forget. And they did, with my help. You took the memories of everyone in Arendelle? Yes. And the royal family erased mention of Helga and Ingrid from every book and record they could find in our realm. Why wouldn't Ingrid tell me what happened? Or that she had another sister? Those are questions you'd have to ask your aunt. Why she would tell me? She's giving these secrets. Who knows what else she's hiding? I have to worry, Elsa. Belle, we have to go. Is everything okay? I don't think so. 
keep an eye on. She's up to something. So, I think I'm heading to the gas You were brave enough to come in here. I had to. I have to find a way to help Anna. Why? You never really cared much for her before. That's not true. Sure it is. You chose that rock over her. You had to remember what happened to your mother. No matter what the cost. I made a mistake. I didn't mean to ruin someone's life. That certainly wasn't your most heroic moment. Not that you've ever really been hero material. Please, please stop. Everyone sees you for what you really are, Bill. A pathetic coward. Oh, come on. You were close. Don't pause on that face. That's just ugh. <sighs> Why do you think hey. the dark one married you? You think it was love? He Just needed wanted. someone weak. Someone he could manipulate. That's not true. He loves me. He gave me this. <laughs> That's real. Deep down, you know what kind of beast you're dealing with. Oh. Oh. The Snow Queen's approaching the cave. No, it's okay. No, you were outside. 
inside the cave. I commanded that you wait there. You commanded me to keep watch. I sensed she was coming back. I came to find you, and I'm glad I did. speak it. Trust me, Belle, if we do... I know. Magic always comes with a price. Price is me. But if Mother's death taught me anything, it's that sometimes a hero has to sacrifice everything to save the people they love. And I will do whatever I can to save our land 
And I can be a hero just like Mother. And if that means summoning Rumpelstiltskin, then so be it. I'm afraid we have a problem, dearie. I caught a glimpse of your mirror today. It's rather impressive, isn't it? I had no idea your bride would be so easy to turn. Watch yourself. Now, I don't know exactly when you intend to use this mirror, but you should know this. I won't allow you to hurt those I care about. I won't allow you to derail my plans because you've suddenly gotten sentimental. You only get one more now. Which is more than you get. I can't make any promises over who may or may not survive. You know, you were wrong before. That you needed leverage to get what you want. No, that I didn't have it. I do. Where did you get that? Oh, that's irrelevant. But now that I know what you're up to, we can have a real talk. You might want to reconsider your position. Because I doubt you would enjoy becoming just another embroidery on this hat. Looks like you've just lost your leverage. Damn. Anna. It's time to wake up, dear. Come on. I'm pretty sure that fall would have killed her. Maybe she saved her. I don't know. It's Crazy things head. have happened. It's like in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. You know. I wouldn't know. When Peter Parker died. You know. <laughs> the only person I know in Spider-Man that dies is Gwen Stacy. At least really. What? Where am I? Exactly where you belong. Lock me in here. Elsa won't stand for it. Even when she finds out what you were planning to do to her? Wait, what? You were planning to use this to strip away her magic. No, that's not why I had it. Really? Then why didn't you tell Elsa about it? Because I, I didn't know how to tell her the truth. I found it with a man that our parents sought out. They went to him looking for a way to strip Elsa of the thing that makes her special. And you're following in their footsteps. I wasn't going to use it on her. I wasn't going to use it on anybody. Until you attacked me. The Rock Trolls told me what you've been hiding. That you and my mother had another sister. The Rock Trolls shouldn't talk about things that they don't understand. But it's true. What happened to her? Some secrets are better left buried. I don't understand. What do you want? What I have always wanted. Your family, who will embrace me for who I am. For a brief moment, I thought the three of us could be that family. You, me, and Elsa. But you showed me that plan would never work. You have nothing in common with Elsa and me. You are the odd woman out. So? No. I suppose I have to find someone else to take your place. The Snow Queen is your aunt? According to this heraldry book I found in the library. Her name is Ingrid. I didn't even know my mother had any sisters. I'm as surprised as you are. Well, spend a little more time in this town, love. You realize just about everyone's related. <laughs> this book traces the lineage in Arendelle for generations. That's Gerda, my mother. And this is Helga, my other aunt. What the hell? The first one, she looks just like you. Maybe that's why she was so obsessed with you. Why she kept all those relics from your childhood. Oh, she came to this world looking for blondes? There's a lot more than just me. Don't I know it. She wasn't looking for a blonde. She was looking for the savior. What? The scroll, the writing is runic. It's a prophecy. It says, the name of the savior 
is Emma. She knew? Before you even did, she knew you were powerful. Well, why? It says it right here. And the Savior shall become Ingrid's sister. What the hell does that mean? What prophecy is that? Well, my mother died and her other sister, she's not around anymore. I think Ingrid believes in this prophecy. Come on. I think she's looking to replace them. Here we are. Elsa. I, I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. But what? I, I've been keeping a secret. I know your sister, Anna. She <sighs> helped me once, but when I had a chance to help her, I let her down, and because I did, she was captured by the Snow Queen. What? Where did this happen? When? Erendale. A long, long time ago. I, I have no idea where she is now, but, uh... I'm afraid we have a more pressing concern. The Snow Queen has a mirror imbued with terrible magic that can do terrible things. Mirror? Easy enough. Let's just go smash it. It's not that simple. Rumpel told me it's part of an awful spell. The spell of shattered sight. If she casts it, its magic will make everyone in Storybrook turn on one another. Bloody hell. The entire town will destroy itself. And there'd be no one left. Except us. What makes you think that she'd spare you and Elsa? Because of this. She wants it to be just the three of us. Her perfect family. Psycho! Will! I think she's a little nutso. But hey, sometimes longing for a family... That's just like you. Can make you a little mm, loco coco or coco. Oh, <laughs> Me likey your loco motion. Oh, Harley. <sighs> I would have liked it if she was Jadis. That would have made me happy, in a weird way, because. Bring Narnia into it. That would have been just the yeah, greatest that thing. Really cool. But I guess we're doing Frozen, which is based on the Snow Queen. We kind of have to do Frozen-based stuff, not Narnia-based stuff. Maybe if there's a season after this, they can do some Narnia-based stuff. I love me some I mean, Narnia. One of the they, greatest yeah, soundtracks. That's awesome how like they would have done like they combine Rumpelstiltskin and Beauty and the Beast kind of thing. I mean they did yeah. that. Yeah, like that. Why not? Oh, Why I not? Frozen and then Narnia. Maybe it's because Jadis was like a giant woman or something. From Jadis wasn't even from Narnia. She could have been from Arendelle. Exactly. <laughs> she was frozen in like a stone and yeah, she, yeah, another she, yeah. dimension and then she fell. On, I don't know what. Can't remember much from that book. Me neither. It was, it was the two kids. They did grade. something. There were rings. Some, I don't yeah, know. the rings and, and jumping into the pond portal thingies. And My grandfather or something, I don't know. Something yeah, the, it, he was an uncle, Dylan, because the book's called Magician's Nephew. True. Maybe we'll be back later today. Maybe. No promises. At least no for sure promises. Um, like, favorite, maybe even subscribe, hint, hint. Wait, wait, no, no. <laughs> Still five. Um, comment if there's anything you want us specifically to react to. Maybe we'll get to it. I mean, that's like I'm still trying to go through the supernatural. Um, mm. Mm. I'm hungry. Well, it's about lunchtime. So, yeah. Alright, we'll see you later. We're gonna go have some lunch. Lunch? Say goodbye, Dylan. Goodbye. So long. Farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye, goodbye for now. now. Until, until we meet again. It wasn't like beating on a pumpkin at one point. Yeah, they did for Halloween. Never so mind. long. Farewell to, to you, you, my friends. friends. Goodbye for now. My other, yeah, remember the other one? Remember the one from the big blue house? Bear in the big blue house? The, the only part I remember is the moon. The bear and the big blue house. 
We'll be waiting for you to come and play. I don't even know like what like what happened in those episodes. I remember to... like at the end he went to go say goodnight to the moon. Good I night think. to the moon. That's about it. That's all I remember. You know, <laughs> what else from our childhood? <laughs> um Frank Franklin. Franklin. Oh, Here's man. Franklin. Come and play. Little bear. Was it, was it little bear? Little bear. <gasps> oh my god, remember little bear. Remember the big bear the big dipper and the little dipper? What the Oh, I remember that episode! Ah Oh nostalgic like feelings that. are so good. Just like recap on that, you know. Oh make little bear. Make a reaction to the first episode of Little Bears. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness, my my memories of childhood come My back. nostalgic feels <sighs> We've got set off track. We went from saying goodbye to talking about Little Bear. That's because of the song. <laughs> Out of the box. Remember that little toad from the Gullah Gullah Island thing? Even what's it? The big yellow toad with the, with the, uh. Remember Maggie and the ferocious. Yeah, beast? I was just th I was just thinking about because she said big yellow thing. Like, yeah, but it's it's a big yellow toad with with um, with red spots. It looks like a toad version of the ferocious beast. <laughs> but it was live action. It was a big puppet toad. Hmm. It's Maggie. I'm, uh, we'll we'll just, like get five fry go off on, on when I went to the dentist and Maggie and the ferocious beast was on TV. Alright. We already said goodbye, so. Bye. Ah! <laughs> uh...